Hey guys, it is Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Yes, the word is Feathers Elite. You can't come to Holland and not come to this loft. Peter Vandermeer of the Netherlands, national winning machine. Machine, machine, machine. Winning, winning, winning. Super pigeons. There's Peter. Hello, Peter. Hello, hello, pigeon fences. <sighs> oh man, Peter. What some pigeons here, some results. The best of the best, some would say. I hear the pigeons you have are absolutely phenomenal. We start. Peter, what is the base of your pigeons, the family? Uh, the basic of my pigeons is uh, the old black lines. That was Tunir line. Tunir. And later I uh, coupled with uh, Kruis with the Wit Brothers pigeons. That was Klak Janssen pigeons. Later I have uh, the replay. And the replay is from my friend Marcel Sangers from the Koopman pigeons. And later I have from uh, Guy van Aura uh, pigeons from Kaasboer. And uh, later also from the Bulk pigeons. And yeah. That we make. Uh, you make your family. Yeah. And yeah. you've had some super, super results. Uh, for people wondering, when I say super results, national MPOs, how, 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 how many have you hit? We win uh, 37 times the first MPO uh, race, and also sometimes the first national from all Holland. And we have also first national as pigeon, top 10 national as pigeons. Yeah, uh, Can, very good. In young birds and, and old birds, the same super results. Yeah, the, but young birds and old birds, yearlings, super results. Also on the, from uh, 100 kilometer till uh, 600 kilometer. Yeah. Okay, and uh, we're gonna first start talking with the young pigeons. So you put your breeders together. What time of year? Uh, we start in the first week of uh, December. December 1st, yeah. roughly, you put them together? Yeah. Uh, how many rounds do you take for racing? Um, most uh, two. Two, two and a half rounds and then is, uh, we have enough. Two and a half rounds, so you breed them, you wean the youngsters, they go yeah. into the, to the race loft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and how does it start from there? What's the, what's the system? That's, that's the lofts of the young birds. That are two lofts. Okay. One loft for the first round. Okay. One loft for the second round. All right. And, and my father and my daughter race with the birds, and my father let them out. Uh, yeah, the first round first. Then, then they are uh, the end of January. They go out uh, out the loft. So the first round. So, the, so the first you let the first round out on their own. Yes. And then you let the second round out when and they're the old enough. The second round, when they are 25 days, they go in the other loft. In the other loft. And they go also uh, apart, out. Okay, and you and don't when, you don't mix the two rounds together. No, the first uh, months not. When we go uh, training. Then uh, the, the door is open and the first and the second round come together. Okay, so you, yeah. you, you give them time apart. Yeah. Do you darken the youngsters? Yeah, dark system from uh, uh, first week April, uh, March, to uh, about 20, uh, 21 uh, June. Of June. That's yeah. when you put them on the dark. Before then they're on natural, whatever yeah. the light is. Yeah, before... Uh, when they uh, 25 days old, the first round come not uh, in the darking. Okay, and uh, the, the young birds, before you start road training, they go out how many times a day? They train always one time a day. One out. time a day, the same yeah. time every day? Yeah, most times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most times the first, uh, the same time. Yeah, and yeah. and when they're not law flying, they can go in the Averys. Yeah, always uh, on the day they can in the Averys. Yeah. So in the daytime, are they locked out in the Avery? In the in the lofts. In the daytime, they're in the loft. Yeah. No, no, no. On the no. day, on the day. Oh, out, okay. So the days in the are night, in the Avery. In the night in the loft. I, is it possible to film in the Avery? No. Yeah, Just so I can yeah. get past the the wire. Yeah. So they're in the daytime, they stay in here. Yeah. In the evening, they go into the loft. In the loft. Yeah. In the loft. 
You bathe them in the Avery? No, they uh, they eat in the in the, in the loft. Eh? Uh, can you? Oh, is this okay? Ah. And I just show. It's okay. That are uh, all hands. All hands. So they're on the the V perches. Yeah. The great the graded floor. And I'm just going to be nice and calm. Okay, so they're loft flying once a day, the same time every day? Yeah, there's a, yeah of the weather is uh, uh, rain or then m most in the, at the same time, yeah. So pretty much the same time. Uh, how many times a day you feed the young pigeons? Uh, two times a day. My father uh, feeds them a little bit in the morning, then uh, later they go out and then they feed them uh, uh, yeah, uh, for the second time. For the second time. Yeah. Well, uh, what kind of a mix, roughly? They have a mix, uh, youngsters mix is the name. The first uh, month, two months, they have uh, only breeding mix. Okay, then so... Then they uh, good, uh, grew out. So they grow nice, yeah. more protein. Yeah, and, and then uh, they have youngsters, uh, youngsters mix. That's from uh, buyers. From buyers. Mix. The youngsters mix from buyers. Yeah. Okay, so uh, when will you start putting them in the basket for road training? Oh, yeah, I think uh, two, yeah, in the month, uh, what is that from? I think they start in the begin, begin of June. In the beginning of June, you start to train them in yeah, the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, when you put them, when you start training them, do you still loft fly them every day? No, no, no. Then, then we put them in the box and uh, my daughter Gwen uh, bring them uh, by car. Uh, we start with uh, two or three kilometers and, uh, and then so on to uh, 35 kilometers. And then uh, we go uh, by the truck. So how, so how many times, Peter, would you say you train them in the car? Uh, I think 15 or 20 times. 15 or 20 times. Yeah, and it starts yeah. from what, two kilometers? Two kilometers to uh, 35, 40 kilometers, ongeveer. And you always let them out in a group? Or small groups? Uh, first times in the group. Mm -hmm. And later with smaller uh, groups. Smaller groups. And yeah, yeah. roughly how many youngsters are you flying with, you playing with? Yeah, the, the, Your team uh, size. How many were they this year? 170. 170, I think. Okay, 150, yeah. 170 in yeah, that yeah, range. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this year, last year we had more, last year 100, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you train, you, you're training them about what? You said 20 times by yeah, the car. 15 or 20 times. 15 yeah. or 20 times, and then they go with the transport. With the truck. Yeah. And yeah. how far the first time with the transport is it? It's uh, 80 kilometers. 80. And how yeah. many times is that a race or is that just no, training? That's, uh, one time is training. We do it one time in the truck with training. 80 kilometers. 80 kilometers. And then the week after it is race. Race. Yeah. And you race the young pigeons how many weeks in a row? Uh, I think nine or ten times. Nine or ten times. Yeah. And it yeah. starts from what, 100 kilometers? Yeah, the first training is 80 kilometers by truck. Mm -hmm. And the week after it is then 120. 120, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 120. And how far? It goes 120 to how far in the eight weeks? Uh, tot uh, 420 is uh, 420, eh? yeah, cents. Yeah. Yeah, 420. So 420 is the farthest the young pigeons yeah, go. This year was 420 the fastest. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the farthest. And your young pigeons go every week. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sometimes uh, we have one week we have a lot of problems of two weeks with uh, with uh, the young birds ice uh, uh, one eye co no, cold because we keep them home uh, so yeah. if a pigeon doesn't look right you keep it home yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for the young pigeons before racing before training just before training or during training do you do any type of medication yeah we do uh, anting uh, paramixo rota and uh, paramixo and pocken. Pox. Pox. Ja, en dat is de ending. En dan one or two weeks before for the first race, we give them a druppel, drops for the luis. Oké. Okay. 
and uh, we give a magic Beans. pill. Belgium magic. Belgium magic pill. Belgium magic pill. Uh, what is that for? Is it a vitamin? What is no, it? No, that is for the uh, tri trichomonase. For trichomonas. Yeah. You yeah. only give them one pill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you treat for any respiratory? Uh, before, before uh, racing, not. Okay. Then they must go uh, self. Uh, self strong. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when you and we do also nothing for trichomonas van af de nest for two weeks before uh, the first race then they get uh, the first time for trigo so pill you magic give pill them, you treat for no trichomonas until no, no, two weeks no. before the first race yeah, yeah, yeah. then you treat yeah when you're in race mode race racing the eight weeks do you treat for anything yeah then uh, uh, every four weeks they have a magic pill belgian magic okay and after uh, when they have two days in the truck then we give always uh, bs okay so if the pigeons have to spend two nights in the truck with other pigeons, with other pigeons. not one night two nights two nights, two nights yeah they come home you give them bs yeah. and that's yeah. in the water in the water when yeah. the pigeons arrive yeah yeah, yeah. okay and uh, then uh, uh, Saturday or Sunday or Sunday or Monday. That is the two days. Two days. You yeah, treat. Yeah. Uh, when you are racing, starting the first week, uh, what's the feeding program for them? The same mix? Yeah. Or yeah. different mix? No, we have the same mix. Uh, my father uh, have uh, um, from the. The the zakken, yeah, yeah, from the yeah, from the from the zakken. The zak, he can show uh, youngsters he mixed, he feed them. Okay, so you don't feed light to heavy. It's the same no, mix. Not. Same. No, no, same no. mix. Same yeah. mix. And uh, do you put any any oils on the feed? Yeah, sometimes we give a little bit uh, oily from the the wheat. Okay, so the weird oil. Yeah, uh, one or two, three times. Any types of powders on the feed? Yeah, that is uh, fit, fit, Belga fit. Belga so super fit, fit, super fit, super, super fit, fit on the feed. Yeah, and uh, and and uh, and that is the the the, the, pro, yeah, the products for the feed. Okay, uh, w once the pigeons are train, uh, when the pigeons start race number one, do you train them in the car anymore? Um, the first two, three weeks, then we train one time, I think one time in the week. One time? After, after not. Okay. And then they go only by truck. And normally what day is that you train? Is it the uh, same? Mid in the middle of the week. So middle. Wednesday? Yeah. Which yeah, day? yeah. How far? Uh, also 40, 45 kilometers. One time everybody goes. Do you separate uh, before the first race? Do you separate the cocks no, and hens? No, that, that we do. Uh, Four races at the all end. together. Four races and then, yes. then apart. Okay, so the first four races they're all going to be together. Yeah. The yeah. last four you separate. Yeah. And you yeah. show them the day of basketing. Sometimes we do it. Uh, show them. Sometimes it's for when easy to uh, when the pigeons uh, apart mm -hmm. for basket. It's uh, it's easier. Okay. Hands apart, cocks apart for basketing. For, for basketing. Her. It's easier to basketing. Yeah. And then yes. when they come home, they get to see each other. Yeah. Then then they go. Uh, the doors are open and they can uh, play in love and beautiful. How, how long you leave them together? Uh, one day. One day. So they and come home Saturday. You take them away Sunday. Sunday mo morning. Sunday midday. Gwen do the pigeons in the in the box, and uh, cocks and hands go in other loft. Okay, uh, when the pigeons come home from the race, do you give them anything special feed, special water? No, just yeah, some the, BS? always uh, they come back, it's uh, Belgian sol. Belgian sol in the water. Belgian sol in the water. And after, BS with Belgian sol. Uh, yeah, if they're two days in the in the in the basket, they get yeah, yeah. belgasol and BS in the water yeah. for two days. For two days. Okay. No special different feed. No, no. M most uh, times, my father gives uh, the first day when they come home. Um, that is D8, D8 mix, D8 mix, mix. Light, light, mix. light mix, light mix when yeah, they come yeah. home. Yeah. And. Um, they come home on Saturday, you separate, when it's time you separate the, the Sunday, sexes midday. on Sunday. Do you let the pigeons out on Sunday? No, 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 no. No, stay in. Yeah, yeah. Monday? Monday my father let them uh, one time a day, all, all days, 
out one time. One time. Yeah. Always in the morning. And yeah, most in the morning. Yeah, we start in the morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're with Peter Vandermeer. Is it possible to see the inside of the young loft? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this would be the section for the cocks. Yeah, yeah. And uh, when the uh, pigeons come together, they can uh, in the in the in the boxes. And wow, quite nice. Can you look, look at the boxes? And I'm just gonna. You see the boxes? Do you put nest balls and straw? Yeah, sometimes. Not always, sure. My so father, my father and Gwen do it very easy. Not too much uh, and specials. You, you, you clean the clean the loft every day? Uh, yeah, one time a day uh, the uh, the loft's cleaned. Yeah, yeah. And I see you use droppers as well? Yeah, we have also that uh, uh, it's nice to... Uh, nice pigeons. <laughs> now, is the hen section, is it the same as this? Does it look the same pretty much? Yeah, and in the season it's the same. The same? Yeah. So there's still boxes for the young hens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, now it is where my father have now boxes for hens in the loft of hens. Not these boxes. Different? Yeah. In the winter, we have other boxes for the hens. So, uh, can I ask, what's the difference in the boxes? No, small boxes. Small. So, so this is too big? Yeah, that's too big for hens. Okay, they're smaller boxes, yeah. but they look the same. Okay, so, so we're gonna we're gonna keep that the same. Uh, any types of special grits, minerals you guys like to yeah, use? Yeah, we give uh, the grits from uh, Ronnie van Tilburg from uh, Allerlei. The Sak Allerlei is the name. Mm -hmm. That's grit and uh, minerals together. And the normal grits gewoon, eh? Yeah, yeah. Boy, Peter, there's some beautiful... Kijk, look, look, that's the normal grit. Beautiful young cocks in here, eh? Ja, 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 ja. They have raised uh, last week nog. Uh, and and the, the last four weeks was very good. We had one week uh, from uh, 1,200 pigeons, the first 19. And uh, last week we had the first five from thousand pigeons, and now we have from uh, eighteen hundred pigeons. Quen uh, have three, and I take ten by the first fifteen. And do you ever slide the vents, change it, or no, everything no, stays no, no. the same? Always show. Always open. My father. Uh, when I raised with the pigeons, on the day was it closed. Okay. So well, when, you, when you were racing, you closed the vents? Yeah. Mom, now my father and Gwen raced. It's open. When my father is next week, he was 80. And uh, he forget, uh, <laughs> yeah. forget on, the, on the night the, the, the open to do. Oh. To do open. Oh. And it was the night. Cool air. It was the, yeah, too, too closed. I say to him, you do it always open, but anders in the night they have uh, no air. No air. <laughs> hey, and we do it, and uh, and it is good. No oh. problem. No, no problem. No problem. Always show. And always open, and the renders open, and you see the pigeons look good. Super good. Now, if the if uh, you start with let's say 150 young pigeons, you finish with roughly how many pigeons? Uh, the end of the season. Now this year uh, was very, very good. Yeah, maybe 25 we lost, denk ik. Yeah. 20. Yeah. So you, 20. Didn't, you didn't lose a lot? No, no. So now... No, normal every season we lost, uh, yeah, 20, 30 or something. Yeah, percent, yeah, 20, 30. And okay, so, so this year, let's say you started with 150. Let's say you finish with 130, I think. 20 or 120. Yeah. What will all these carry over? No, no, no. We select we also. Select. Oh, we select also. Want uh, uh, for for my father, we do uh, with the old birds now uh, only race with uh, hens. 
that's easier for him. One group training and also for basket for Gwen, only uh, hands basket. Okay, so you're looking to keep most of the hands. Yeah. yeah. All right, so, and I also, I just wanted to ask. My, the, the Cox Young Birds are very good, or, but we raise also um, second and fifth MPO are Cox. Fifth MPO other race was cock. Now the first aspect in last four races is cock. Thus cock is very good also. And I, I see you have little motivation boxes above you. Yeah, but this is a boxes for the for the, 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 the white. For the, oh, the for the, dro the droppers. Yeah, yeah, there's oh. boxes. Okay, well, Gwen like the, uh, the droppers and they have a box. In every uh, loft we have a box for droppers. One, One couple. One couple. Yeah, yeah. So that's the system basically for the young pigeons. Works very well. You've had super results. Yeah, yeah. Peter, I want to thank you for taking the time uh, for showing us the young bird system. Hey, best of luck this coming year. Okay. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's Ryan Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Peter Vandermeer from the Netherlands, the super breeder, the MPO winning machine, the middle distance superstar flyer. And I'll, I'll tell you, I come here, he likes, you like clean nest bowls, eh? <laughs> How many houses you see this on a beautiful sunny day? All the nest bulls. And I think that's where we start here now. We talk a little bit about breeding because you can't have 35 years of winning and not know how to breed a pigeon. This is the breeding loft, right here. Yeah, this is the breeding loft. We have one, uh, three lofts for breeding, three different lofts. It's easy when you couple over a hen, the cocks in the, in the same box and the hen go to another loft. So it's, easy, it's easier for you to leave the cocks in a section and yeah. move the hens. Yeah. yeah. Easy. And your breeders, they have the nice aviary all the time. Yeah. 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 Always they can out. They can in the rain, in the sun, and what they, what they so, want. So you don't even have to bathe them. They bathe themselves like a, like a wild pigeon would. Yeah. 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 And, and the graded floors. Yeah. And roughly, how many breeding pairs do you have? Uh, we have uh, 40, 45 pairs. 40, 45 pairs. Now, to be to become in your loft as a breeder, how does yeah. how does a pigeon get there? That is, um, we have good results, self, or I do always. Uh, all, uh, I keep also uh, late bred or summer youngsters from my old best breeders, and I keep directly for breeding, okay? For my uh, best pairs in, in the future, the old pairs I keep from Replay, from Replay Junior, from United, from Amigo, from Rivaldo, from Alviero. Sometimes I keep kind children directly for breeding, no racing, omdat I know they have good bloodlines and good... Uh, yeah, the, the family's given you consistency, winners, winners. good winners. Yeah. yeah. Um, and do you inbreed, line breed? Most is... Uh, uh, Cross. Crossing. Most Cross is for crossing. racing. Yeah, yeah. Cross yeah. for racing. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, do you, how do you... What do you treat the breeders for? Uh, in the season, do you treat them medication? We give them uh, in this um, uh, month. Uh, we give them uh, paramixo anting. Paramixo. So right now we are in in, in we are in uh, November. Yeah, yeah. The just the end. Uh, even kijk hoor. Uh, October. We're in October. Octo right? October. Basically in October. October, they have paramixo anting, and they have uh, 15, 14, 15 days. Uh, para stop in the water. Para stop in the water. And, and after that, uh, before uh, breeding, we give them five, six days BS. BS in the water before uh, coupling. Before, uh, pairing. Pairing. before pairing. Okay. Yeah. And after that, uh, we uh, bred six or seven round of youngsters. 
and never the breeding have medicines. Never medicines. No, no. So when they're breeding, you don't give them no, no medicines. No, no. Just grit. Grit, allerlei. Okay. With minerals. Yes. And uh, breeding uh, feed with uh, with uh, with the uh, tovo and uh, some uh, eivoer. What is that? Eye food, yeah, that's the yellow, when yeah. they have youngsters. Egg, egg food. Youngsters. Egg food. Yeah, egg yeah. food. So you use a bit of egg food. Yeah. Okay. Um. And, uh, and uh, the tovo and uh, sometimes uh, P40, the uh, coral, the corn. The corn. Yeah, the corn. pellets, P40. Oh, the, okay, the pellets. Pellet, pellet. Okay, okay, okay. So you feed them like that all season long. Yeah, As and much they have all, all day they have food. All day they have food. All day. Do the pairs raise their own or do you switch eggs? No, the breeders um, breed and feed the youngsters self. Self. Yeah. You don't switch? Only from some two or three pairs. Okay. But so mo most the same eggs they breed and they feed the youngsters self. Okay. Uh, how old? Uh, when when the pair has the youngsters, when will you separate those youngsters? How old are the Tw youngsters? Tw 25 days, I think. 25 days, you wean them. All right. When the, when the feathers uh, closed. closed on yeah. them. So it's, the, it's dry, not wet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, you let them raise, uh, and you say you, they'll do five to seven rounds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five to seven rounds. And do you, do you switch the hens often? Sometimes, sometimes in the season. May, most in the year, they have the same hen. Okay. Other year, they have another hen. Okay, so you normally leave them for a year with the yeah, same yeah, hen. Yeah. Uh, only super breeding cocks, they have different hens. Okay, so super cocks, you, you give them multiple hens. The regular cocks that you're still playing with, practicing, seeing if they're yeah. the good ones, yeah. they're gonna have one hen for the season. Uh, okay, so, so that's that. If you have a pair together and they breed five rounds and you have out of the five rounds, which is 10 youngsters, you have one really good one. Yeah, but we race with two rounds. Eh? You race with two, oh yeah, you only race with two rounds. Mm -hmm. So you have four youngsters. Yeah. What is in your mind a successful pair? What do they have to be? to stay together or to stay as a breeder here? Yeah, then they have uh, one good youngster from the four, that is all, that is all uh, good. That's all you need? Yeah. Or, yeah. Or, or a very good yeah. top pigeon? And, yeah. and also, at the end of the season, we have uh, three or four from one couple, then it's also a good couple. Okay. Now, uh, if after 10 races. After 10 races. Now, if you have out of the couple, nothing. Yeah, then the other year I have another cock and another hen. You switch. Yeah. Switch yeah. other. Switch the pair. Yeah. And try it again. Yeah. How many seasons will you give a breeder if he doesn't the first uh, year, three. nothing. Three three years, I think, three, four years, three years. Three, four years tops. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And if nothing, they go. Yeah. yeah. Alright. And how often are you bringing in new blood? Yeah, what I think from that is good for Kruis with my birds. You, you bring in. Yeah. So every year you every could bring year in. We have a new. Uh, a couple of uh, new pigeons. Yeah, some every year uh, some. Yeah, not, so, not so many or. Uh, oh, yes. so. Do you prefer to bring cocks or hens? No, no, no. They're marking out of food. Just out of the good ones? Yeah, from the, what I think from the, from the good lines. Good light. What I can cross with my birds, then. then. So we have, uh, every year we have a new bloodline to cross to, to, to test. To test. To test. And now, now the, this year we have now nothing, no, no, nothing no, new. No, 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 no. We have a lot of uh, from the very good uh, uh, old breeders. We have a lot of children from the old breeders and we test now that first okay so so that's simply how you do it and you will uh when will you separate your breeders um, they are separate the hens are out mm -hmm. only in this aviaries are cocks with the youngsters from the last round yeah you leave the youngsters here yeah, okay yeah. but next week we split all the youngsters go out cocks in one loft and the hands in one loft. 
Okay, and they, they can still use the yeah the yeah, cops yeah, and the hands yeah, can yeah. use the Avery. Okay, we we can now you can look here door the door the Avery. Yes. The boxes are closed, and now are from one box we have three. Yes. Sits. Three sits in one. You divide the nest box into three. Yeah, yeah. And, in and that's for the hens. That hook is for the for the hens. Yes. And the other one loft is for the cocks. Okay. They sit together. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. They sit only together. the gases, Tussen. Here only the. Yeah. Only the wires. Yeah. And it doesn't bother you if the cocks see the hens through the no, wire. No, 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 no. There's no problem. Okay. No, no. And uh, again, you put them together the first of December. Yeah. First week December. You put the lights on. Yeah, the day uh, the, the the day we make a little bit longer, eh? When uh, we coupled. In all your years. One week, one week before we coupled, mm -hmm. we do the the lights on, then we make the time uh, the the summer time. The summer time. So okay. So you give them the lights. The lights stay on until when you normally shut the lights off. I guess uh, April, May. Yeah, when the days lay longer, longer, you shut them off. We stop with the lights. So that's the breeding. In all your years, Peter, of, breed, of breeding, what's been your best breeder? Who? That you think? Yeah, Gwen. Gwen was very, 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 very good. Replay was very, very good. Yeah. That was, I think, the most Yeah. Hard to pick yeah. one. The line for United. United. Yeah, pick one. Cool. You can't. <laughs> yeah, then, then, then uh, Gwen. Yeah, Gwen and replay, yeah. That's the best. It's the best. Yeah, the that two. was super. Peter Vandermeer, I want to thank you for showing us the breeders. Uh, again, 35 years of breeding, breeding winning pigeons, and we talk about it, uh, we talk about it inside. I ask you about one loft pigeon racing. You don't play really one loft races. It's not your thing. No, but no. people are calling you and messaging you of super results from yes. your pigeons. Yes, all over the world we have uh, every week we have message from uh, they win a race of an ash pigeon or a big winners. This we we raced we raced uh, self with the pigeons. The one love race not so my but it goes to show you world-class pigeons here that you're racing. They go to races all over the world, the world. Yeah. with different yeah. handlers and different yeah. systems yeah. and yeah. people yeah. are winning. Yeah. It's a testament to your breeding, your program. It's nice to see that your father and your daughter play with the pigeons and yeah. it helps you out. Yeah. You guys work as a family and uh, the results show and your, your loft assistant here, he's a hell of a good guy. Yeah, yeah, Larry, yeah. you're the man, eh? The best of the best. Peter, I want to thank you. Okay. Have a good thank day. You. Thank you, Francis. Hey guys, it's Ryan Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Peter Vandermeer from the Netherlands, the super breeder, the MPO winning machine, the middle distance superstar flyer. And I'll, I'll tell you, I come here, he likes, you like clean nest bowls, eh? <laughs> How many houses you see this on a beautiful sunny day? All the nest bulls. And I think that's where we start here now. We talk a little bit about breeding because you can't have 35 years of winning and not know how to breed a pigeon. This is the breeding loft, right here. Yeah, this is the breeding loft. We have one, uh, three lofts for breeding, three different lofts. It's easy when you couple over a hen. The cocks in the in the same box, and the hen go to another loft. So it's easy. It's easier for you to leave the cocks in a section and yeah. move the hens. Yeah. yeah, easy. And your breeders, they have the nice Avery all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always they can out. They can in the rain, in the sun, and what they what they so want. You, so you don't even have to bathe them. They bathe themselves like a like a wild pigeon would. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and the graded floors. Yeah. And roughly. How many breeding pairs do you have? Uh, we have uh, 40, 45 pairs. 40, 45 pairs. Now, to be to become in your loft as a breeder, how does yeah. how does a pigeon get there? That is, um, we have good results, self, or I do always. Uh, all, uh, I keep also uh, late bred or summer youngsters for my old best breeders and I keep directly for breeding. Okay. 
for my uh, best pairs in, in the future. The old pairs I keep from Replay, from Replay Junior, from United, from Amigo, from Rivaldo, from Alviero. Sometimes I keep kind children directly for breeding, no racing, omdat I know they have good bloodlines and good. Uh, yeah, the, the family's given you consistency, winners, winners. good winners. Yeah. yeah. Um, and do you inbreed, line breed? Most is uh, uh, crossing. Most cross for crossing. racing. Yeah, yeah. Cross yeah. for racing. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Do you? How do you? What do you treat the breeders for? Uh, in the season, do you treat them medication? We give them uh, in this um, uh, month. Uh, we give them uh, paramixo anting. Paramixo. So right now we are in in, in we are in uh, November. Yeah, yeah. The just the end. Uh, even kijk hoor. Uh, October. We're in October. Oct October. Basically in October. October, they have paramixo anting, and they have uh, 15, 14, 15 days. Uh, Parastop para in the water. Parastop in the water. And, and uh, after that, uh, before uh, breeding, we give them five, six days BS. BS. In the water, before uh, coupling. Before, uh, pairing. Pairing. before pairing, okay. Yeah. And after that, uh, we uh, bred six or seven rounds of youngsters. And never the breeding have medicines. Never medicines. No, no. So when they're breeding, you don't give them no, no medicines. No, no. Just grit. Grit, allerlei. Okay. With minerals. Yes. And uh, breeding uh, feed with uh, with uh, with the uh, tovo and uh, some uh, eivoer. What is that? Eivoer, yeah, that's the yellow. When yeah. they have youngsters. Egg, egg food. Yeah, egg food. Yeah. Egg food. So you use a bit of egg food. Yeah. Okay, um, and uh, and uh, the tovo and uh, sometimes uh, p40, the uh, corn, the corn, the corn, the, the corn. pellets, p40. Oh, the, okay, the pellets. Pellets, pellets. Okay, okay, okay. So you feed them like that all season long. Yeah, As and much they have all, all day they have food. All day they have food. All day. Do the pairs raise their own or do you switch eggs? No, the breeders um, breed. And uh, feed the youngster self. Self. Yeah. You don't switch only from some two or three pairs. Okay. But so mo most the same eggs they breed and they feed the youngster self. Okay. Uh, how old? Uh, when when the pair has the youngsters, when will you separate those youngsters? How old are the Tw young? Tw Twenty five days, I think. Twenty five days, you wean them. All right. When the feathers uh, close, close on yeah. so it's the, it's dry, not wet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, you let them raise, uh, and you say you, they'll do five to seven rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five to seven rounds. And do you do you switch the hens often? Sometimes, sometimes in the season. May, most in the year they have the same hen. Okay. Other year they have another hen. Okay, so you normally leave them for a year with the yeah, same hen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, only super breeding cocks, they have different hens. Okay, so super cocks, you, you give them multiple hens. The regular cocks that you're still playing with, practicing, seeing if they're yeah. the good ones, yeah. they're going to have one hen for the season. Uh, okay, so, so that's that. If you have a pair together and they breed five rounds, and you have, out of the five rounds, which is ten youngsters, you have one really good one. Yeah, but we race with two rounds, eh? You race with two, oh yeah, you only race with two rounds. Mm -hmm. So you have four youngsters. Yeah. Yeah. What is, in your mind, a successful pair? What do they have to be? To stay together or to stay as a breeder here? Yeah, then they have uh, one good youngster from the four. That is all. That is all uh, good. That's all you need. Yeah. Or, yeah. or, or a very good yeah. top pigeon. And and also, the end of the season, we have uh, three or four from one couple. Then is also a good couple. Okay. Now uh, if after ten races. After ten races. Now, if you have out of the couple nothing. 
Ja, dan die andere keer, even een andere kok en andere hen. You switch. Yeah. Switch yeah. other. Switch the pair. Yeah. And try it again. Yeah. How many seasons will you give a breeder? If he doesn't, the first uh, year, three. nothing. Three, three years, I think, three, four years, three years. Three, four years tops. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and if nothing, they go. Yeah. yeah. All right, and how often are you bringing in new blood? Ja, wat ik denk van dat is goed voor kruis met mijn beurs. You, you bring in. Yeah. So every year you every could bring year in. We have a new. Uh, a couple of uh, new pigeons. Yeah, every year uh, some. Yeah, not so, not so many or. Uh, oh, yes. so. Do you prefer to bring cocks or hens? No, 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 them. Hey guys, it is Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We're with the national winning, the NPO winning machine. Peter Vandermeer, hello of Francis. the Netherlands. This guy's pumped up. Super pigeons, great results, year after year after year. Correct? Yes, How many yes, years yes. of winning, Peter? How many years? Uh, 35. <laughs> you need a break from winning. You got to do some losing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But um, we just took a look at the young birds. Your your system, your rough system breakdown of the young pigeon flying. Now we're going to move to how you fly with your old birds. Now, speaking with you earlier today, you guys have stopped playing with cocks, and now you only play with hens. Yeah, yeah. My father, uh, yeah, is a little bit old. Next week he was uh, 80 years, and we do it uh, for him uh, for training. Uh, one group, it's easier, and also for Gwen, the basket, the pigeons, and uh, clean the pigeons, and also uh, with Larry. Uh, it's then easier to basket only hands and now my question is you've also played very well with cocks yeah many years many years and you've played well with hands what plays better if you have to pick if you uh, could only pick one cocks are also very good they can raise uh, a first prize but in one year Hens are, uh, I think, better. More consistent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the young hens, you move over, and you'll take all the young hens over for hens? Oh, no, not all, not all, but what, too, mu too much. Selection. We are, we do a little bit selection. So when you're selecting, so people understand, what are you looking for? What, how does a hen from young birds make it into hen to yearlings? Uh, first, uh, natuurlijk, the, the results. Second, the body of the 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 parents. Okay. The the, the pedigree, the parents, the the, the confirmation of the yeah, pigeon, yeah, and yeah. if you like it and you have a feeling, correct? Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So you move the hens over. Now, will the yearling hens fly with two-year-old hens and three-year-old hens in the same two, loft? Two two uh, yearlings and two years. Three years go to breeding loft. Two year, so you only fly yearlings and two-year-olds. Yeah, yeah. You just said to me, when the season ends, you showed me now, this is where the hens are gonna fly. Yeah, yeah. next Get, year, here. Year, only the yearling hens? Yearlings and two, and two years. They will come in here? They come from the other loft to here. They come from the other loft to here, okay. And you now we see. You can look the boxes, that's, that's simple. And this is what you said with the boxes. Small boxes for the hens. Small boxes for the hens. Yeah, very, very, very small. Just, just so someone knows, size of your hand is about a pigeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. Yeah. Now, with these hands, what is your system of flying them? Uh, in the week, uh, they go out and they come in in this loft and uh, go and basket the pigeons. They, sometimes they go to the to the cocks and sometimes they basket gewoon from the hens loft. No problem. So they normally uh, okay. So you put them in the, in this loft. How many times before the racing season? How many times do they get to go out for flying exercise a day? Uh, every uh, one time a day, yeah. One time a day. Same time every day. Same time every day training. Training and they they, they loft fly roughly how long? Yeah, one hour, one hour fifteen. One hour fifteen. So once a day. Well, well, when my father looks when they go uh, when on on the loft. Then uh, he do it open and they go in. So once a day they go out. Yeah. They exercise. They come in. They stay in here all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quietly. 
Ja. Um. And on the day in the in the in the, in the Avery, yeah? on the day out. So when they land and they come in, they eat breakfast. Yeah, they ate in the loft, and then they go out in the Avery on the day. Okay, and what what do you feed them in the morning? Uh, yeah, the, the feet in the morning, the, the same as in the evening, normal uh, racing food. Normal racing food? Yeah, yeah. Okay, do you measure it or just by eye? Uh, my father look, look to the pigeons, um, when they stopped with eat, when they go drink, he stopped with uh, Okay, feet. so so as soon as he sees them going now, for drink? Now, now uh, he give a little bit more, there's molting, okay. they have now a uh, lot of feet. Okay. O only in the morning and evening, on the day out. Okay, so once the birds come in, they eat breakfast from their law fly, they then go out into the aviary. Yeah. The hens yeah. do. Yeah. They don't see no cocks. No, no, no. They the just on the other side, eh? They take their time in the aviary all day long. Yeah. yeah. Evening time, your father calls them in for feed. Yeah. They come in, they eat their dinner, they go to sleep. Yeah. yeah. Next morning again. Yeah. Yeah. When is your first? But now, now they uh, after the last race, mm -hmm. they come not out. When the race season's over, it's yeah, done. Yeah, for the also for the hawks. Okay. The problem in the in the in the, in the winter. Perfect. The sh after the last race, no out. No out. Okay. Only in, only in the. So, so so Peter, the the hens are loft flying every day. When do you start road training them? Uh, I think uh, three weeks before the first race. Okay, three weeks before. Yeah. And how is that? Every day in the car? No, no, that is five times. Five times. Five times and then they go uh, by truck. Okay, so the first toss would be how far? Uh, 40 kilometers. So first time in the basket, 40 kilometers? No, no, the first time is 10. 10? 10, 10, 15, 20, 40. And not get 40, and then they go by truck. By truck. Okay. Uh, do you change the feed at that time at all? No. no. The same food. Medication. Um, that's the same as by the young birds. Yeah. That's uh, um, before um, first race. They have injection paramexo. The injection. We do only by young, only youngsters. Okay, so you only pox. treat them for pox with the youngsters, yes. And uh, they have for the first race also Belga Magic pill. Belga Magic, yes. Every four or five weeks, Belga Magic pill. And after race, two nights in the truck, BS. <laughs> so very simple, basically yeah. exactly what you do yeah. with yeah. the young pigeons, you do yeah. with the hens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and in the, in the, in the, the pigeons now, the breeding pigeons have now the racing pigeons not. Then they have uh, 14 days para stop in the water. Okay, para stop in the water. Yeah. yeah. Question: With the with these hens, the yearlings and two-year-olds, do you let them have any babies before racing? For racing, uh, only breeding, only breeding eggs. So all no those youngsters. all those hens will get to go down on eggs. Yeah, on eggs. On eggs. Yeah. When do you take the eggs away? Uh, you don't let the, them hatch. The 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 con kunststof kunst eieren. The plastic eieren. Plastic. Uh, the eieren come not out. Okay. Dus they they breeding. Uh, yeah, 18 days uh, and then stopped. And you put them together. When would you put these hens together? Uh, I think uh, begin of March. So you pair them up the beginning of March. March. You let them pair how they want. Yeah. Let yeah. them do what they want. Yeah. You pair them up. They drop their eggs. Yeah. You're still letting them out every day. The hens? Uh, Not that time. When they coupled with cocks? No. They are uh, in the loft. 14. Yeah. 15 days in the loft with the cocks. Uh -huh. When they have eggs, they go out for training. Training fly, train, fly. Loft fly. When they're when, when the cocks are on the nest, the hens go for yeah. for work. Okay. The 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 eggs. The hens no, get off. No youngsters, no youngsters want we have uh, most time we have for the breeding, we have enough youngsters. Alright, so the hens they sit on the eggs until it's till they get off. Yeah. The cocks come away. Yeah. When's the next time the hens see the cocks? After the first race. The first race. They come home and they come in in the loft of the cocks. So they come in the loft of the cocks, the cocks are happy, 
The oh, hens yeah. haven't seen them since they got off the eggs. Yeah. So yeah. no cocks in training. No. No cocks for fun anytime. Mm -hmm. So the hens come home from the first race. It's 120 kilometers, let's say. Yeah. They see the cocks. How long? Uh, the day, the, the day, day when they come home. The whole day. Yeah. In the yeah. morning you separate or in the evening? No, no, no. Uh, when they come in the morning or midday, in the evening they go out. They go out. Okay. Now, Sunday they're alone. What do you do? You leave them in the loft? Yeah, in the loft, and they give them a bath. So bath. Leave them in the loft. Monday. What do you do? Monday, Monday, my father let them out for training. Loft line. And uh, the most is fly. Uh, Free, 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 free fly, and uh, when they come on the loft, they come in. The other day she do it with the flag. With the flag. So, so on the Monday, he gonna let them have their own little bit of fun. Yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. They loft fly. Yeah. Any road training? No. No. Okay. So, not. so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, loft flying. Yeah. Yeah. Monday. Monday. Oh yeah. Monday. Okay. Monday is a free day for them to play. Yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Your father with the flag. Yeah. How long does he want them to fly? Yeah. Minimal an hour. Minimum one hour. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the time, do they do it with? Very easy? Yeah, most times it's good. Okay. One hour. One hour. Good. One hour. Okay. They land, they come in, they eat breakfast, they come back out into the aviary and sit. Yeah. In the evening they come back in. Yeah. Still no cocks. No. You basket for the next race, the races you always basket when? On Friday? Pretty much? Yeah, short distance is Friday. Okay. Middle distance one day is uh, Thursday. Thursday. So on the Friday, in the beginning, do you fly them on the Friday around the loft? Sometimes, Sometimes, yeah, with Sometimes. Short, short distance well. Short distance you will. Do they see the cocks on a Friday? Uh, sometimes. Depends. Sometimes uh, when put them so from the loft. For how long? This is 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. 20, 30 minutes, a little motivation. Yeah. But not all the time. No, not always. Not always. Okay, it's how when, when, when she has not so lot of time, they put them so from the loft, from the hands loft. Okay, so they just leave them. Okay. Um, My next question is, when you go to two-day basketing, so you basket now on the Thursday, yeah. do you show the cocks, the hens? Yeah, yeah, two, two days well. You will? Yeah. Uh, uh, for how long? Yeah, 15 minutes, 15. 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Yeah. And those races are obviously farther, four, five, six hundred kilometers, seven hundred kilometer races. Yeah, yeah. When the hens come home, they see the cocks again. Yeah, mm. yeah. For when how they long? Come home, uh, they come together. They come together. They come together for for the day. Yeah, for that day. For the yeah. day. Yeah. The Sunday. Sahel so sometimes when the, the race is not so good. Yeah, the pigeons come uh, not so quick Broke up. home. Yes. Then other than Sunday. Then Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. So then, if it's a tough race, you leave them till Sunday. You maybe remove them Sunday, late Sunday evening. I think maybe, uh, and then Monday they go back out again, or they in the loft. No, yeah. Then the Monday out, out. Yeah. Tuesday the same. Wednesday the same. Yeah. same. And for two-day basketing, will you loft fly them on Thursdays? Yeah. Most times, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's the same system. Yeah. You don't change nothing. No. We do that 35 years. Good. And with your uh, your hens or your old birds, where do they perform the best? What distances are the best for you? Yeah, uh, 300, 300 till 600. 300 to 600. That's where they really yeah. good in headwinds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good in tailwinds? Good in no, all winds? No, no. Tailwind, no. no. tailwind not so. Not so good. No. Because the, the pigeon of Peter, I learned, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of power. Okay. So it's good for the headwind. Better for the headwinds. Because yeah, if yeah. the tailwind is a lot of power, the they, pigeon. They overshoot. Yeah. yeah. Overshoot. Okay. Overshoot. So at the end of the season, What's your selection to keep hens, hens that go to breeding and hens that don't make it for the next year? Now the, the hens are yearlings and two years is for the new team for the next year. Mm -hmm. Older pigeons go uh, for breeding. 
breeding. Ja, en we hebben nu van. We starten met 65 duiven, hè? 65. Ja, 65. 65 hens, we start. En nu voor next year, I think Gwen heeft 20. Uh, two years. So 20 two year olds? From yeah. two year olds and then the rest will be yearling hens. Yeah, you're 15 or 20, I don't know for sure. But. Okay, so you're gonna have a, a team of around 65 hens to yeah, play with. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so pretty much it's the same system as as the young birds, a little bit more motivation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and just week after week, yeah, you yeah. play them all the time. Yeah, hands, yeah, yeah. Hands got to go every week. Yeah, yeah. No road training. No just, road. Just loft exercise uh, around the loft. Yeah. My father, it's very, very easy for my father, and uh, not so many uh, with the boxes uh, yeah. by car. Uh, now, was there ever a time where you trained the old birds by car a lot? Five times before the first race, eh? Yeah, but never like I'm saying in years past. You never tried. No, no, never, never with with the old birds. Same system. Yeah. I guess if it's not broken, don't fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Peter, I want to thank you again for for showing us the hens, the hens loft, the system of the hens. Uh, good luck and thank you. Okay, no problem. Thank you. <laughs>